Hey church, we trust you are doing well, we're praying for you, believing for another great week and we are in our long series talking about the power of relationships, looking at different relationships all the way through the Bible and uh, this week we're going to look at Elijah and Elisha and pick out a few thoughts for you and I just want to start by um, today by just looking at one lesson we can learn from Elijah and one lesson we can learn from Elisha. The big picture is that it really teaches us about cross-generational relationships, that we should pass the baton on, there should be an ongoing um, generational impact of what we do, that we don't just do what we do for today, we do what we do today for the sake of a better tomorrow. And we want um, there to be future generations standing on our shoulders doing even more than we've managed to do. And that's the reason we run fast and uh, and maximise everything that we do. So for the benefit of future generations. And we see this in 1 Kings chapter 19. You can read that account for yourself uh, just in, in a few moments maybe. But the account in 1 Kings 19 is is this moment from Elijah to Elisha. It is passing on the baton. The lesson I want to think about for us with Elijah. Elijah teaches us to think about who's next. Who's around the orbit of our life. Uh, that we have something that we could pass on. What do you have that you could benefit somebody else with? And uh, that's what Elijah really teaches us. We can, I guess, assume so much about what other people know or don't know or lessons that they should have learned. And if we're not careful, our assumptions mean that we fail to pass the basics on. How many parents know that kids are not born with table manners? <laughs> I know. Incredible, but my kids need my constant help just to teach and correct and maybe just tweak some areas, encourage other areas in order to help them understand how we should behave around a table or how we should be with people, how we should talk to people, how we should interact with people. Some of these basic life skills are not necessarily inbuilt to us. We, we have to learn them. And so if I fail to pass on lessons that I've learned, then I can assume my children know and yet they've never been taught. And the same can be true in many things. We can assume the next generation knows so much and yet they're missing out on some basics. And so it really is your responsibility to think about who's next. It's your responsibility to think about what assumptions am I making that people may not have learnt or been taught that I can be the person that teaches them. In 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 19, the Bible says Elijah went from there and he found Elisha. Elijah found him. Elisha was ploughing with 12 yoke of oxen and he himself was driving the 12th pair and Elijah went up to him and he threw his cloak on him. I want you to see here that it was Elijah who found Elisha. It was Elijah who identified Elisha. It was Elijah who passed on the mantle, the cloak, who passed on the baton. Elijah saw that his responsibility was to find, to identify and to pass on. And so I want to ask you, if you were to take the position of Elijah in this account, then who is in your world that you can share some wisdom with? Who can you pass something on to? Who can take what you have, what you do and your gifts and who can double their impact? That's a challenge, every one of us, to find someone. The next lesson is from the other side of the story. It's from Elisha. And Elisha teaches us to get into the world of someone older and wiser who we can learn something from. 
1 Kings chapter 19, verse 20 and 21, Elisha left his oxen and he ran after Elijah. Let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, he said, and then I'll come back with you. Go back, Elijah replied. What have I done to you? So Elisha left him and he went back. He took his yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He burnt the equipment. He burnt his bridges to yesterday to cook the meat, made a sacrifice and they ate. Then he set out to follow Elijah and he became his servant. You see the pursuit from Elisha. He was pursuing Elijah. Yes, Elijah had identified him, had found him had thrown his cloak, his mantle, passed the baton on. But now Elisha's responsibility was to pursue Elijah as a dual responsibility. And we also have a responsibility not to just teach others, to find others, to identify others, but also to find who can we learn something from. In sport, much about sport is, uh, from my vast knowledge, It's about your stance, your position, your posture. If you're not in cricket, you're not ready to catch the ball. The likelihood is it's so fast the ball will come and you'll drop it. I remember at school I had this golden opportunity to take out the best batsman on the opposition. But I wasn't ready and so I dropped the ball. But in cricket, if you stand in a position ready and expectant the ball's coming to you, the more likely you are to catch what's coming. And the same could be true in every sport. There'd be a different application, whether you need to stay on your toes ready or or, or, there's a posture that comes with catching something. There's a posture that comes from with receiving something. And the same is true in the spiritual. Let's posture ourselves to catch something from someone. The reality is we can all learn something from anyone. And I want you to challenge yourself. Have a mindset, have a posture that says, I can learn something from somebody today. What can you learn today? Who can you learn from? And let's have a pursuit of following, a pursuit of learning, a pursuit of growing. That's Elijah Who are you looking for? Who can you identify that you can pass something to? And Elisha, how are you posturing yourself so that you can learn from others today? The Bible says, Psalm 145 verse 4, One generation commends your works to the next. This is our responsibility. Let's not just believe for today. Let's believe for today that it's preparation for an, an even greater tomorrow a tomorrow that has double the impact of today we pray you have an incredible day today make the most of every opportunity look for someone both you can teach and someone that you can be taught by have a great day we love you and we will see you next sunday